Hi YouTube, Colorful Coats here. Um, today I want to do a video about the Udacity Nano Degree, the Udacity Front and Nano Degree. Um, I got the, the, the scholarship for it last year and I honestly did not start using it until probably two or three months ago. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna, this isn't like the full review because I'm not even halfway through it. Uh, I don't even know the deadline. This is too funny. The deadline um, where the scholarship ends is probably in like two and a half weeks and I just hit the JavaScript part. So yeah. So um, this is going to be like a two part video and if I make it through to like part five, like right now I'm at part three, then I'm going to do like maybe a part three video. So yeah. So honestly, I really wish I started doing the Udacity um, nano degree way 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 like when I started coding because like I really think it's worth it like I think it's really really cool and it's only like two hundred dollars a month um I'm not even gonna pay for this like this is a free scholarship um but yeah like and I honestly wouldn't have to, I wouldn't do a boot camp period to begin with um so if you so like basically it's gonna be a positive review about the Udacity front and nano degree I like it because, alright, so starting with part one, um, obviously, you know, I've been coding for two years already, and it's been a very slow process because I am self-taught, and if I went to a boot camp, I went to the Recurse Center, but that was still, like, your own self, self-directed learning, so I've been floundering, like, ever since I even finished, so... To me, I wish I had some type of structure, like, honestly, the Udacity Nano Degree is kind of like a, it's like a boot camp in itself, you know, like, you're doing projects. Everything is hands-on, um, within, within, like, going through the modules, um, you can, you can basically build things the whole way. And at the end of each section, there's five, you build a project. So I really like how hands-on that is. And I already knew, like, HTML and CSS. Kind of, because I did a uh, Code Academy course like a year ago, and I also did a JavaScript course literally a year ago, and I don't know. But I love it because it just, it feels so, so much structure, and I feel like I'm actually learning things instead of just following the prompt at the side. Like, and I did some free code camp before, I dabbled in it, and I think I got to like the bootstrap part. But, yeah, definitely worth it. And another reason why I chose this was because... It was sponsored, I got the AT, AT&T scholarship, but it was sponsored by, or created by, like, Google, Hack Reactor, s some other, two, two other b big, big name companies or whatever. So, yeah, so, and I read all the positive reviews, and I was super hyped, because I'm really, I'm really sad that I didn't understand the value of it when I first got the scholarship. I got it because my friend was like, oh, sign up. So we both signed up, we both got the full scholarship. And we did nothing with it. We just got, you know. So, yeah, I really wish I started this earlier because the biggest thing with me is that, like, I was coding in Python for, like, the longest while, but I never, like, there wasn't that much to show for it, especially when you're doing a back-end language. It's very difficult to build, like, large-scale or not large-scale, but significant projects versus a front-end, you know, uh, a front-end app or something like that where you can, like, do things and make a login system and all that type of stuff. So yeah, so <laughs> right to the review. So I know we start off with HTML and CSS and I actually checked yesterday and they added three new, no four, they added four new models, modules during this course. So like I never went through those but you could tell they're always updating this nano degree. Um, so yeah, so I like it because we're learning so much. Like I learned so much about like the CSS grids and responsive layouts and how all of that works. That is super cool. Like once I got to the part two, I was so hyped. I just did not know that that like like that type of stuff was possible. I was always wondering like, and it's so easy, but the way they explain it, like with the videos, instead of just always having to read, it's really 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 good. Like I just love the videos. And I love how like. After each lesson, we're doing a, an assignment. Um, yeah, and then I went about the media queries and just the way that pictures work on the web and all of that type of stuff. And I thought the, the JavaScript part, I'm probably, it says 
I'm like 28% through the JavaScript foundations. But for me so far that's pretty easy because as I said I've already programmed before and you know and I've done some JavaScript before. But yeah, so um basically I'm just saying that you should definitely uh definitely give it a shot. Um I think that you can you can get through the first two parts if you have no job and if you're a complete beginner for what like a month. And then I could honestly see you finishing this in three months on your own if you had no job and you're just focused on this because yeah and I think they give you like I know it's two dollars a month and yeah I think the consensus is that it takes six months but honestly it's definitely worth it and I'm looking at their other nano degrees I'm taking the Android one right now actually too um, the Android basics which is cool and yeah right now I'm, I'm trying to finish well actually I did finish the portfolio site so I mean if you came <laughs> If you came to this video to see if you should try it, you should definitely try it. It's only $200. It's not a boot camp. You're not going to... Here's the thing with some boot camps, okay? Alright. I mean, let me try to... Okay. So they're really good for some people. Um, if you can afford it, if you have 20 k in your bank account and you can afford it, go ahead and pay that 20 k straight up. If you're trying to sign up for like an App Academy or Grace Hopper or... I don't know, all those other programs like Coalition for Queens, and then, you know, you give a deposit, and then they try to, like, um, they try to make you pay money in Holperton, I think. They try to pick you, like, they, like, they, uh, they're like, oh, you have to pay money when you get a job, like a job in IT. You don't really want to take that risk, because I know so many people who are just, I don't know, people from App Academy who are just not happy with their situation right now, um, and the general experience. Not just App Academy, like tons of boot camps, like Dev Boot Camp and all that stuff. Like my, like even my mentor, she did Full Stack Academy, and just, like basically what she told me was that her whole class, they all felt like they could have learned all of that online. And what else? Like Coalition for Queens. Like I met a girl last weekend, and she was she was living at home with her parents because you know they had hyped it up. Like I don't know, they like. Basically, she felt scammed because like she has to pay like twelve percent of her income for three years after the boot camp that she did with them, and I'm just like, that's crazy. And it doesn't matter; she could be doing like any type of IT job or whatever. I'm just like, wow, that's so crazy. So you don't want to take that chance. In my opinion, you should do the Udacity Nano degree. You should build projects, like significant projects. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Just learn from my mistakes. Like, make, like, um e-commerce sites and you know something with like SQL like authentication like a login system and you know like really cool apps and stuff and people want to see stuff like if you're a back-end person and you're trying to get in don't just focus on back-end I mean I don't care maybe I shouldn't say that because I know people who did get jobs like that but it's very hard and make sure your algorithms and data structures are like super hardcore because yeah um so yeah so this <laughs> This is just so far, this is part one of my Udacity Nano degree experience, and I'm going to do a part two uh, in like another week when I finish JavaScript. And I actually have like, now that I'm doing like this front end stuff, I have just so many ideas of like stuff I want to do. Like when I see people's websites, I'm just like, oh shoot, like I see the boxes, like how the CS CSS grid system works, and I'm trying to like copy people's websites and like, you know, try to like re-implement it in my own code and saving and that type of thing. So yeah, it's really not that hard. And YouTube... I just discovered YouTube so late, like, there's so many tutorials on YouTube, I'm just mind blown, like, I feel so sad, you know, I wish I, started, I wish I knew what I was doing when I started back in the day, but, I mean, I know now, so, definitely give Udacity a shot, and, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, bye, bye.